Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skilton. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, I'm going to talk about what is H index and what is I10 index. These two Google Scholar index are immensely important for your academic career and research path. Today, I'm going to talk about what are these two indexes and why these two indexes are so important. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, this is my Google Scholar profile. And as you can see that my citations currently is 915 and my age index is 18 and overall I10 index is 28. So what is age index and what is I10 index? So I rather I I rather try to ans get this answer from chat GPT. So I write it in the chat GPT and chat GPT says that age index is something like, for example, in my case, age index 18, it means that 18 papers of my that each have at least 18 citations. So each paper has 18 citations. So that is what we call the H index. H index 18 means 18 papers has 18 citations. H, H index 20 meaning that these 20 papers, each paper has 20 citations. So it reflects both the number of publications and your impact. For example, if one of your paper has 17 citations, less than 18 citations, it doesn't count in the age index. Similarly, if you have a 100 papers, but only 18 paper has 18 citations, so your age index will still be 18. So age index is significant for your productivity and influence. Now, let's talk about I10 index. I10 index in my case is 28 and it says the number of paper, 28 papers, they have 10 citations at least each paper. So each paper has 10 citations. That is what it says, number of papers with at least 10 citations. So in my case, 20. 28 of your paper, meaning that my paper, have been cited at least 10 times. So it is a very straightforward index and it shows the how broad my research spectrum is. So in summary, it says an H index 18 shows a solid research impact with several highly cited works and I in I10 index referred to the your broad portfolio of papers that are moderately cited. So these two indexes are immensely important for your research career. When you're looking for a job in academia, they will ask what is your H index, what is your I10 index, and what is your citation in Google Scholar. Very, very important, these indexes. And one more thing I would like to say, sometimes what happened in the Google Scholar unnecessary and unrelated papers are also added to your profile. Remember, my dear learners, remove those unrelated, unnecessary papers from your Google Scholar profile. The paper that is not related to your name, maybe it comes by chance or accident, you just delete those unnecessary, unrelated papers from your portfolio. Because people will look at your profile and they found that your citations are unnecessarily boost up or unnecessarily high because there are some other papers inserted in your profile. So remember, you should be careful about citation only based on your own research portfolio. So I hope you understand what is the difference between H index and I index and you should try to increase your H index by submitting in a good high index portfolio journals, especially the impact factor journal. And that is how you will increase your age index because it is very important to increase your age index by sending your work in a good quality journal. So I hope this video is useful for you and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.